In problem 25 of section 3.2, we are asked to find the uh, area bounded between, or the area of, uh, area bounded between the graphs of uh, the functions f of x given by this fourth degree polynomial and g of x given by another fourth uh, degree polynomial. So the area is just going to be the integral, um, oh, and we're looking at x values from uh, negative 4 to 6. The area is going to be uh, the integral from negative 4 to 6 of the absolute value of f of x minus g of x. So the first thing to do is uh, figure out what f of x minus g of x is. Look at f of x minus g of x. Well, x fourth minus x fourth is 0. Here we have negative. Uh, x cubed, and the x squared terms cancel out, x terms cancel out, and we have minus 1. All right, so this is the, I don't know, I'm sure this is minus x cubed plus 1. So this is uh, the place where the graph's equal. Now we need to figure out well, um, which side uh, is, uh, the is the difference function f of x minus g of x positive and where is it negative? Well, if f of x minus g of x, well, if um, x is greater than uh, 1. The reason I'm picking 1 here is because if um, two functions are equal, uh, so in other words, if the difference is 0, then um, x cubed is equal to minus 1, so that x is equal to minus 1 as well. Uh, so if x is greater than minus 1, well, if x is greater than minus 1, uh, then this part here is going to be positive, uh, and then we'll be taking the negative of that. So this will be less than zero. And of course, if x is less than minus one, uh, this term is going to be uh, much less than this. This will be uh, whole term here will be negative. We're taking the negative of a negative term, which will be positive. So we can split this up into two different integrals. Uh, first being the integral from negative 4 to negative 1. So here we're looking at values um, where x is less than negative 1. So if x is less than negative 1, then the difference is greater than 0. So we can just drop the absolute value sign. And if x is greater than minus 1, so then the difference is less than 0. So if we look at the integral from, integral from negative 1 to 6, uh, then this is going to be f of x minus g of x. But we're in, in order to drop the absolute, absolute value signs, we're going to have to throw in a minus sign. Now this is just the integral from negative 4 to 1 of, let's see, f of x minus g of x is just negative x cubed minus 1 dx. And this will be minus the integral from negative 1 to 6 of negative x cubed minus 1. So we just pull the minus sign back in, becomes positive x cubed plus 1 dx. Now this is equal to uh, negative 1 fourth x to the fourth minus x uh, evaluated from negative 4 to 1 plus uh, one fourth. Uh, 
uh, x to the fourth plus x evaluated from negative 1 to 6. This is equal to, oh, we have negative 1 fourth minus 1, so negative 5 fourths. And minus, uh, now we have negative 1 fourth times negative uh, 4 to the fourth. Uh, this is minus 1 over 4 uh, times just 4 to the fourth. Minus a uh, minus four, so plus four. And then we'll add uh, six to the fourth over four uh, plus six minus uh, one fourth minus one. So the first part simplifies to minus five fourths, and here this is minus, well, four cancels out in the bottom and change this to a three. So we have minus uh, four cubed, which is 64, plus four, or just 68. And here we have plus six to the fourth, which it's 6 squared times 6 squared over 4, and 4 goes into 36 9 times. This is actually 36 times 9 minus, here we have 1 quarter minus 1, which is minus 3 quarters. So this is plus 3 quarter. All right, almost there's a little bit more arithmetic. Um, First term, we have 5 fourths minus 68. Um, let's see, actually, let's, uh, let's work on this, this part first. Uh, 36 times 9. It is uh, 324. Uh, so we have minus 5 fourths minus 68 plus 324. So now we have minus 5 fourths plus 3 fourths. Uh, so this is minus 2 fourths or minus 1 half. And here we have 324 minus 68. which is 256. So we have minus 1 half plus 256, which is just going to be 255 and 1 half.